Okay, titignan ko kung sino ang hindi nakatingin sa akin. Hmm. Yung hindi nakatingin sa akin, ayaw magbasa. Ah, lahat biglang tumingin. <laughs> titignan ko kung sino hindi tumatawa, siya ang baba, siya ang tatawagin ko. Althea, hindi ka tumawa kanina nung nagjo-joke ako. Sige. You read the communication process. <laughs> The floor is yours. Please unmute your mic. Hi. Since you've mentioned about missing the physical classroom, here in our class Zoom, we also have some house rules. And here they are. Good morning, mom. Good morning, classmates. This is my presentation <laughs> about my report. So, our top <laughs> pick that we're going to discuss. You have to have a good internet connection. Remind you. Okay, guys, as a class president, I'm going to assign you ma'am. See, everyone are talking at the same time. Can we understand each other with that? Of course not. So we have to mute our microphones if we're not being asked to. <laughs> Who want to be the class president? <laughs> Don't be a crybaby, right? By isolating the radical on the left side of the equation. You should so have a good night's six. sleep. A full Both night sides. of sleep. And you should be prepared before you go to school. Before you go to class. <laughs> I didn't want to see someone brushing your teeth online. Okay. Staying healthy during pandemic is so important, but not on my class. And no eating during class. Unless you give food to everyone. So no eating, no drinking. But if you want to drink, um, I guess it'll be fine. But no eating like this. Models, para alam niyo kung ano ang nangyayari sa condensation. How much? Ay! Ay, class ito! Hindi online selling! The online class becomes an online selling. Magkano yung kalan? My goodness! Topic po natin sa klase ngayon. So, opo. Opo, kung may nasabi ko ito ngayon, sabihin mo salamat siya. Focus po tayo sa klase. Huwag puro memes. Ito na yung topic natin. So, yung storage na to, kadalas, ito yung jobs and mom jobs. So, san, uh, so, then, then, so, Adidas. Ayan, Adidas. <laughs> so, this is an online class. Did it make it an online marketplace? Check nyo po. Mine. <laughs> you have to attend in my class physically, of course, inside your room. But do not do this. I would know. <laughs> I want you to be alive, alert, awake, and enthusiastic. Do not post your photo in front of your camera just to pretend that you're attending my class. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, some of our house rules. So, uh, oh no, wait. All right. Okay, do you have any questions? Suggestions? Any violent reactions? <laughs> I hope everyone are okay, all right? I hope everyone are okay with our house rules. Um, in our physical classroom, we have house rules. Also, in our class Zoom, we have a house rule. So uh, you can have some knickknacks. You can have your uh, 
just just a, a snack. Uh, just do not do not uh, bring your uh, your full lunch or with your cubiertos while having our uh, lunch. Okay, you can have your bottled water with you or uh, a tumbler. So uh, you have to drink eight, at least eight glasses of water a day. All right. So uh, always remember that. Okay. So let's start with our lesson. Oh, uh, question. Is anyone has able to access the uh, NMLZ, our online, uh, our web-based program? Yes, let me, uh, let me see. Uh, did your class, your class advisor is, who's your class advisor? Teacher Hazel. Uh, did Teacher Hazel mention about do you have or do you have any problem navigating with our NMLZ? Hmm? Anyone? So you can. All right. Okay. So uh, I assume everyone knows how to navigate our NMLZ and having no difficulty accessing it. So uh, right after our uh, session today, you can you can answer our uh, our uh, communication skills assessment later. All right. Okay. You have to answer that for you to be able to go to the next part, which is our first lesson, the introduction to communication. Start with our lesson. Can you hear me well? Can you shake your hands if you can hear me well? I want to know if you can hear me well yeah all right so uh, what is oral communication mm? i know I, I i i guess uh you already have your foresight of what will our class gonna be right all of the things you learned from your previous english uh classes will surely be a big help uh with this class uh, basic english or advanced english is different from oral communication because this like the application of what you've learned from your english classes um, those were the tools on how you will express yourself okay it's all about communication so expressing yourself um, sharing information giving ideas uh, knowledge uh, that you gain from uh, by by words of mouth all right, so uh, what do you think is oral communication? Anyone can answer, please state your name so I could acknowledge you. What comes to your mind when you hear the word oral communication? Or, or let's do this. What do you expect from our class, from this class? What do you wanna learn about oral communications? Anyone, don't be shy. Oral communication is about public speaking as well. So, uh, what I've mentioned uh, before, uh, we will, we had to help, we will help each other for us to be able to speak fluently. And uh, we're gonna be using the English language as our um, primary language for oral communication. We have our Filipino subject, but so now in our oral communication class, we'll be using English. I know anyone can have mistakes okay so uh it's normal all right don't be shy don't be afraid if you think oh my what my what i might be saying will be wrong let's remove that mentality okay let's remove that mentality because uh, if you keep on thinking that uh you're afraid of what you were gonna say is wrong Technically, oral communication is about how you express yourself, okay? Sending your idea to another person, okay? So that is oral communication it's all about. It's not uh, really about uh, English grammar. Your English teacher will deal with that, all right? Okay, but uh, this time in my class, it's all about expressing yourself, all right? Okay? All right, so what do you think is uh, oral communication? What comes to your mind when you hear about oral communication? Uh, Jansen is raising 
his hand halfway. <laughs> Sir, for me, is oral con oral communication is learning about um speaking fluently and using correct grammar. And for me, is oral communication is um learning be confident. Is uh learning be confident, especially in public speaking. Okay, so that is correct. Uh, learning uh, to speak fluently, okay, using the correct grammar, okay. Um, as what I mentioned earlier, uh, the, the things that you've learned from your English subjects, uh, those are the tools that we'll be using for our, our communication, okay. So uh, correct grammar is, uh, is one of the major factors of oral communication and also confidence. Um, as what I'm seeing right now, Jansen is showing his confidence <laughs> because he, he, he could answer my, my question, my, my, uh, what, what, what this oral communication is all about. So anyone else who can show his or her confidence in class, I know you want to answer, all right? But there's a barrier here. We're gonna be talking about that barrier also in our oral communication. Is that because you're being shy? You're being hesitant because your answer might not be might not be correct? No, there's no wrong answer here. There will only be better answers. Okay, that's why we are here because we'll be talking about how to make good better. And we're gonna make the better ones the best. So the, the key word is we'll be helping each other. Okay. So uh, surely there will be a lot of mistakes because uh, especially if I'll be asking you to have your uh, own oral recitation, your public speaking. Okay. There will, there will be a lot of mistakes because we are Filipinos, right? We are not using speaking English. We, we use Tagalog, right? Uh, we are used in speaking Tagalog or our uh, regional dialect. Uh, that's why we are going in school to practice our English skills, English speaking skills. All right. Our uh, speaking in dollar. So uh, this is a good start for everyone. So anyone else who can uh, add, contribute to what is oral communication is all about. Okay, Kyle. No really sure about my answer sir but mm -hmm. um, i think for me oral communication is to be able to express yourself in a certain topic or situation okay express yourself yes exactly oral communication is expressing yourself sending your emotion sharing your knowledge your idea that is oral communication. That's what oral communication is all about. Uh, just like uh, what Jensen said, um, using the correct grammar, yes. We're going to be using the correct grammar too. But the, the main highlight, the main aspect of oral communication is sending, expressing ourselves. All right? Sending our idea. Uh, no matter how, how correct or how wrong we are, Still, uh, we are able to express ourselves is the first thing that we have to consider in oral communication. All right? So anyone else? Okay, so we still have 10 more minutes. All right? So if ever, after our uh, session uh, has ended, uh, again, please answer the uh, communication skill assessment in our NMLC. <laughs> Okay, answer our NMLZ. Is your cl class done, Franco? Uh, done? Yes, it is. It, it, teacher said there's another teacher coming, but let me just, just close my laptop. Oh, you're, you're done for the day. What? Huh. Okay, okay. We'll do the uh, assignment later. Yeah. Oh, right there. Right there. Right there. Sorry for the interruption, guys. Uh-huh. Pamilya dong tao here. 
<laughs> he's doing his online class as well. So uh, it's right beside me. Back to our discussion. What is oral communication? Do we have to use our magic roulette for anyone to, to answer? Huh? <laughs> Do we have to? Napipilitan akong gamitin yung magic roulette natin. Ha? Sige, teka lang. O, oh, eto. Potensyano. Marvin. Um, process of expressing information. I'm sorry? Ano po, sir? Process of expressing ideas of how learn about Sending ideas? Is that what you're saying? Okay, right. Yeah, exactly. Sending ideas. All right. That's that's good. Okay, Send, sending ideas uh, of mouth or uh, speaking, oral communication. But uh, we have to also uh, remember that oral com um, communication is, uh, there are two types of communication, verbal and nonverbal communications. So, uh, but now we'll be dealing with Oral communication, which means it's all about speaking. Okay, next. Anyone who wants to, uh, anyone who wants to volunteer? Hmm? Okay, Jessie May. Interacting with different people. Very good. Okay. Interaction, which means uh, there will be... Uh, the speaker and the listener, the listener will gonna have his or her feedback as well, right? Like in texting, uh, if we texted someone, there should be a reply, okay? So that's an interaction. Okay, thank you very much, Justin May. Anyone else? Sir, oh, sir. Para lang, sir. Okay. For me lang, sir. Okay. Or we lang na communicate properly with others. Communicate properly with others. Okay. Communicate uh, properly. Uh, yes, because uh, there should be um, manners or ethics, right? Uh, if we have GMRC, we also have GMRC here in oral communication. Okay. And also, Jan Timothy. Timothy, I, I saw you. You're raising your hand. You have something to share? Communicate effectively. Communicate effectively. For us to be able to communicate effectively, we have to have a clear vision of what we are going to say, right? So that is what oral communication is all about. Uh, you have to have a clear path or idea or knowledge of what you are going to say. For because the the end goal here is the listener or the audience should uh, understand what you're trying to say. So my question is, do we understand what we are talking about? Do you understand what I'm trying to say here? Can you raise your hand if you understand what oral communication is all about? Yes, very good. <laughs> <laughs> because I was thinking uh, I might be the only one talking here and you guys uh, cannot absorb what I'm talking about. Please bear with me. I, again, uh, this, uh, the new normal, this is so brand new to everyone. So uh, I know, um, uh, for, for example, the internet connection is a big factor in our uh, Zoom sessions. If ever you 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 miss or you, you lapse something during our, uh, during our discussion, you may ask me to repeat it again, all right? Or uh, we can do, we can do some, some chats after our discussions, okay? Uh, if you need help right after this uh, session, you can, you can do so. In our NMLZ, we have our uh, chat box here. 
you can send me a message. So there, uh, we only have a few more minutes for our uh, synchronous. So again, please, please, please answer the, uh, this one, all right? The motivation, communication skill assessment. You need to answer this and submit it for you to be able to uh, go to our lesson one, introduction to communication, okay? Uh, you have to read this, the whole chapter. If we are fast in discussing, we can finish it uh, for about five minutes, I guess. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay. So, uh, there. Do you have any questions? Huh? Or you're just shy? Huh? <laughs> so, if we are 15, I'm thinking of having... Uh, uh, we'll be grouping ourselves into three, okay? Uh, because we'll be having a lot of activities all about oral communication. So um, I don't know how to, to group ourselves. Do you want to group yourselves or do you want to have our magic roulette to, uh, to, to group you? Or do you want to play the boat is sinking, group yourselves into two, three? <laughs> we can do anything you want, okay? Um, here it is, guys. Uh, I don't want to be just your teacher, okay? That's why I'm all, always asking you, what do you want to do? How do you want to do it? Even in our groupings, I'm asking you, how do you want our groupings be to be? That's why. Uh, do you want to have, uh, I'll be preparing uh, your 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 names okay we can we can have a bingo here as well right or or do you want uh yeah okay good morning everyone before we greet each other good afternoon or good lunch <laughs> Okay. Did you miss me? <laughs> Wala sumasagot. Ah, meron. Buti naman. No, naiyak ako. <laughs> meron nakakamiss sa akin. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are we supposed to be 15 in the class. Okay. Uh, uh, but uh, okay. Hindi pa rin kompleto. Alright. Okay. Uh, which part did we stop the last time we had our uh, class Zoom? Hmm? I do apologize, uh, memory gap, uh, signs of aging. Okay, Erika, are you raising your hand? About sa ano po, what is oral communication? Ah, yeah, oral communication. So, I already uh, showed you the house rules, right? Okay, all right. Okay, um, here it is. Um, just a friendly reminder mm, uh, with regards to our uh, class Zooms, I will always put the link in our NMLZ. Okay, um, just look for the Zoom icon and the date corresponding, the date today, just to make sure that it is the active link that, it'll be, uh, that you'll be clicking. Always in NMLZ, understood? And uh, because, you know, I know the trauma, yeah? I know the trauma of every one of you guys. You know, where is the link? Asan yung link? Mga classmate, nakapasok na ba kayo sa Zoom? Like that. <laughs> pegging link, pegging link, give me the link. <laughs> yeah? Okay, uh, uh, let's just always think about the link. The link is always in NMLZ, okay? If ever, the, I'll not be able to put the link of our class Zoom in the group chats. The link will always be in NMLZ. Because uh, you'll be asking all the creatures, all the creatures here on Earth about the link. Eh? Okay, so just relax and enjoy our class. So always remember, you will see all the things that you'll be needing in our NMLZ. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, 
with communication skills are your uh, golden ticket to success in the uh, academic and of course in the future in the professional world so always remember that um, it is the first impression last kind of thing right uh, the way how how you speak how you uh, face the the people it's always how you speak that impresses someone right especially if you're out there in the professional world already after you graduate from college but now um this time especially during the uh, covid 19 imagine this time of pandemic uh, a lot are selling online oh joshua is coming in okay a lot are selling online um that is one more thing with the advancements advances of te in technology new forms of oral communication continue to develop uh before we we're just talking face to face but now uh video phones we have video conferencing like facetime uh, skype or this one our class zoom we were using zoom which allows us to communicate over the internet combination of audio and uh, video to sell products you know, uh, uh, most of us said that uh, we were selling online and uh, of course uh, over the internet uh, we are using uh, a great deal of oral communication skills right uh, you cannot sell a product without using your oral communication skills. If we, can you sell a product without oral communication skills? Yes or no? No, right? uh, uh, We really need our oral communication skills. Um, since uh, it's GCQ, uh, we we are now allowed to go to the to the gym. Why didn't I? Pwede na, no? Kung lumabas? Not yet. Uh, kala ko pwede na. Hala! Yung, yung mga iba sa... Hindi pa? Ako, buti na lang pala. Hindi na raid yung pinatahan namin. <laughs> yung yung ano, sir, na, ma... na pala. Ha? Yung mga iba, sir, pwede... Yung mga ibang lugar, sir, pwede nang lumabas. May mga bukas na din na gym, eh. Sa mga oh, ano. Oo, mer meron na nga, eh. Kaya sa nga... Part... Depende. As... Pero dito sa Marikina, I... Conception Chair, meron. Bukas na. Actually, dito sa Phil's Rest, Bulldog chair. ba yung sinasabi mo? Opo. Uh, <laughs> Kapit-bahay lang namin yun eh. Uh, see? Bukas na, di ba? Uh, pero, yun nga. Yung, yung boss ko, before, uh, I was connected with the Marikina City Hall eh. Uh, yung boss ko now have COVID-19. He's positive because he's always going to the gym. Kahit before, na during the lockdown. Uh, he, he's renting the entire gym just for him. Ganun siya kayaman. <laughs> okay? So, uh, just like what I've showed you uh, regarding our, uh, our uh, house rules. Uh, we, we play the house rules, diba? Um most are uh, selling online, you know? They are uh, selling, <laughs> even the caldero, <laughs> they are selling that. But now, you as a student, uh, we will tackle during the course of our class this uh, whole semester, uh, quarter, we are going to highlight many, many things um, in which it makes sense to choose oral communication over written communication. Uh, I, I guess I've already told you that there are two types of communications, um, verbal and nonverbal communication. So uh, now, because oral communication is more personal, you know, less formal, um, unless, unless it's, a, it's a declamation or a rhetorical speech, it, it will be formal or spoken poetry. Does anyone here does spoken poetry? Meron? Uh, frustrated? <laughs> Ako, 
parang frustration ko yun eh. When when I see people doing some spoken poetry, it's like uh, I think I wanna I wanna try doing that as well. You know, um, they are so spontaneous. So that's uh, basically what oral communication is all about. Uh, it is more personal. It is less formal. Uh, imagine, uh, and and also it's more conversational. Uh, who would agree if I say it is easier for us to speak than to write? Or does anyone here prefers to write than to speak? Who wants to to write than to speak uh, when when talking to? Meron. Aha. All right. So you you prefer texting than talking. Imagine uh if you're instructing someone how to cook how to fry egg. Would you rather text how to fry egg than to <laughs> than to speak? <laughs> Just kidding. I know I'm not good in cracking jokes. Uh But uh, you know, uh, yeah, there are people who prefers to to write than to speak, maybe for many many reasons why, right? But uh, still, it is important to to have uh, to have uh, speaking engagements. Yeah, uh, there are times that we need to speak than to write, okay? So always remember that. Uh, there will be times that we need to speak than to write. I'm gonna show you this illustration. Okay, uh, let's make it simple with this illustration because this is what happens every time uh, we communicate, okay? Uh, there are a lot of models of communication. This is the what you call the interactive model of communication okay can anyone uh, read what's inside the box all of the boxes any volunteer i will choose who will volunteer <laughs> wala kayong magagawa pagka ako pumili ah okay titignan ko kung sino ang hindi nakatingin sa akin hmm. yung hindi nakatingin sa akin ayaw magbasa ah lahat biglang tumingin <laughs> Titignan ko kung sino hindi tumatawa, siya ang, baba, siya ang tatawagin ko. Althea! Hindi ka tumawa kanina nung nagjo-joke ako. Sige, you read the communication process. <laughs> the floor is yours. Please unmute your mic. Knock, knock, Althea, are you there? Althea, kung nadidinig mo kami, pwedeng pakigalaw ang baso. Ah, sure. Wait lang. Ah, okay. <laughs> Mukha nga. Okay, kaya pala hindi tumawa. Ang katabi ni Althea ay si Marvin Potenciano. Dito sa video ko, ha? Okay. O, Marvin. Communication process. Sender. Encoding, channel, decoding, receiver. Okay, thank you very much, Kyle. So, receiver, and then there's uh, an arrow going back to the sender, which is, that's the feedback. Okay, your reply. If you're texting, that's your reply. Before we uh, engage with the different parts of uh, communication process, let's talk first about uh, context. Okay? What is a context? Okay. Um, before before we move on to the parts of communication, let's talk about context first. Um, context is the one of the basic components of human communication. Context is the message per se, the idea. Okay. Uh, it refers to the setting in which communication is taking place. You have to understand first. You have to know first what your message is all about so that the the receiver or the uh, end person the audience will understand what you're trying to say um and if you're a recipient 
or the receiver of the message and you cannot figure out a message because your vocabulary is limited, uh, you might miss out uh, most of the entire meeting meaning of the message, okay? So context is the words that defines um, other words. Uh, it's the meaning of that particular word. Okay, um, let's make it more clear with these three types of context. Okay, the first type, can anyone read the first type of context? Number one. Okay, Alvin. Physical context, the physical environment is with the communication, communication in the talking place. Okay, thank you very much, Alvin. So, uh, physical context is the tangible environment where the conversation uh, is taking place, okay? Whether it's in the classroom, this time, our tangible environment is from your from my house to your house right and our channel is through the zoom so um, imagine uh, if someone is speaking about sports okay there's a sports reporter where would that sports reporter should be inside the, uh, a basketball court, right? Courtside. Courtside. Okay, you are? So uh, that's the physical context. The, the physical, the tangible environment where communication is taking place. Okay, understood? Okay, imagine. Uh, would you be in a bar or in a restaurant when you're having a conference meeting? Of course, the, the restaurant, a bar is so noisy. So you won't be able to have your meeting uh, clearly, if efficiently, if you're in the wrong place. Okay, so that's what physical context is all about. You have to be where uh, it'll be proper to have your conversation. Okay, so the second type of context, and one? Okay, Gerald. Cultural and psychological context. Communication will be interpreted in different ways based on the feelings of the receiver. All right. Thank you very much. Um, Gerald, uh, the feelings of the audience. Um, for example, for example, ito, um, the physical context is in the, for example, a restaurant. Or a conference room na lang, sige, conference room, a hall. There's a group of people, uh, pro-administration, pro-government, pro-President Duterte. Who is pro-Duterte here? Do not worry, I won't judge. Mukhang lahat anti-Duterte ah. <laughs> okay, so there's a group of pro-Duterte and there's one person in the hall, inside the hall, that is anti-Duterte. Uh, that anti-Duterte is an activist, uh, the, the, the reclamador against the government, right? Most especially uh, nowadays, there are a lot of reclamadors in town, right? So this anti-Duterte is talking about uh, all things against President Duterte. So that's what uh, psychological context is all about. Um, you cannot talk about a thing that is against with the community or the group of person unless you want to die inside the hall. If, if you, lucky you, if you can still come out alive from that place with your flesh and blood and soul intact. Okay? Unless gusto niyong magpabugbog dun sa mga pro-Duterte. Or for example, inside the church, okay? The physical context is the church, the chapel. Uh, of course, uh, all the people there are churchgoers. And there is one atheist who would speak against the, the belief about God. 
right? So uh, that's against the cultural or the belief of the uh, churchgoers inside the chapel. The, the cultural and psychological context is the communication uh, that should be that should be felt uh, the same way as the rest of the people among the people. So your topic should be what what the people are interested in listening about. But as us as a as a group as a class, you uh, have to consider your listeners as well as well. Okay. So you have to consider their feelings, just what Gerald said, the feelings of the receivers or the listeners. So that's the uh, psychological context. So, and uh, finally, what is the third one who wants to read? Uh, Jansen. Okay. Temporal context. This is the context within a context. Context. The positioning of the message within a sequence of events. Okay. Um, those killed in rhetorics. Uh, Kanina, I already asked if someone is uh, doing uh, spoken poetry. Um, those killed in rhetorics notes that uh, you cannot uh, blurt out the, the most important part of the speech or you cannot uh, blurt out the most steering part of the speech at the first part of your speech, right? For example, if you're a storyteller, uh, you should start in a subtle way first, and then you will be building up your uh, story as, as, you, as you speak. Or, or for example, uh, we as a group, for example, uh, the, the COVID-19 is already gone and we are so excited. We are planned to go uh, to a beach, okay? We'll have our very first uh, swimming after COVID-19 at, at Batanes, for example, in Batanes. And uh, all are so excited. All are so happy and prepared, okay? Uh, we have... Uh, are our bags packed okay with our clothes that will go for about one year kahit isang araw lang tayo sa batanes pero yung baon ninyong damit pang isang taon diba? that's how excited you are and then suddenly for example marvin said oh guys i cannot join with you because uh my mom doesn't want me to join because I need to wash the dishes the whole day. So uh, temporal context is like um, from, from the generally the, the happy, happy mood, Gerald suddenly made it sad. Yeah. So that's the temporal context. Okay. Um, context within a context. Happy context, there's a sad context within the happy context. Okay, so that one. Uh, for example, um, in, inside, inside the company, inside the factory, uh, someone is so excited and so happy that he, he, he said to everyone that his wife just got uh, given birth to their first child. So that's a happy context. That's a bright context. But suddenly, there is this one coworker who, who said, who reported to everyone as well, he got fired because of the recession, because of COVID-19, right? So that's so sad. That's a sad, that's a sad news for everyone, right? So from, from bright context to sad context, okay? Imagine... All of your co-workers are happy congratulating your, uh, your co-worker who had his first uh, born, right? And then suddenly, there, here goes a co-worker that said, I am fired 
just right now because we are cutting down the manpower. So that's the temporal context. Um, from bright and happy start to uh, going to a sad ending. And uh, there are a lot of times that it happens, right? There are a lot of times that it happens. So uh, that's the three types of context. The physical context, the location where the communication is taking place, the cultural or psychological, the feelings, uh, the, the mutual, okay? Sino may ka dito? So that's the cultural context. Uh, the mutual me uh, feelings that we are feeling uh, when we are listening to a speaker. And in the temporal context, the shifting, the shifting of the uh, mood or the emotions of the of everyone inside the hall, okay? Or during when, when someone is speaking regarding something. So just like this one. Okay, uh, these are the elements of communication. Say, uh, the sender, can you see it? Can you see it clearly? That's nothing. Did you look at nothing? So, the sender, the sender is the one texting, then the medium is the channel. Okay, the, the channel is the cell phone, and then the receiver. The, the other person receiving the text. And then the message, of course, it's the one that you'll be encoding and decoding. Okay, and then the feed, feedback is the reply. Oh, Who have... have to That's my game. Can you access your NMLZ right now? Can you? Who can access your NMLZ? Okay, only a few. Okay. Uh, yeah, because most of some of you are using cell phones now, pala, no? Uh, go to the table of context, uh, contents, process of communication. Ha! Parang. Are you experiencing the same thing? <laughs> Can you access it? Not? Umiikot lang din. Just like mine. Ganun lang. Aww. Okay. Anyway. Uh, while we're waiting to... Uh, there. Okay. The sender. It's it's uh, it's self-explanatory. Yeah, the sender is the source, the speaker, the person who transmit the message or the idea or the information, because uh, this is the one that that is sharing the information. Okay, so that's the sender. Um, next is encoding. Okay. Encoding is the format, formats, the type. Uh, let it be clear. Uh, easy to understand. Okay? If you're texting, anybody yung tawag before? Jejemon or Jelina type of uh, text. Mga Jejemon type of text. Diba? Parang, uh, or, or you, you can make it shorter. But as long as... Uh, it is understandable. It's okay, especially if you're you're talking to your best friend. As long as it's understandable, it's clear. Uh, it's good. So that's encoding the second part of the process. Ha, I mean, how you will say it. It's all about the tone of the of the voice. Tone. Wait lang. Okay, ito. Since we are speaking about the tone of the voice, okay, I need a volunteer. No one? Oh, I will choose who will oh, volunteer. Oh, see, Alvin. In the house is the burning. Okay. Again, again. In the house is the burning. 
Okay. Do you think, if you're just reading the text, do you think that's how the sender is, is trying to show considering his or her emotion? Parang si, sino ba yun? Si Jackie Lee? Uh, si, si Ding, the house is burning. <laughs> is that the proper tone? Is that the proper mood? Diba? Oh, sino pa? Oh, okay, si, si Alvin muna. Uh, again, Alvin, in a different tone. The, the, mo the, the more realistic one. With emotions, huh? In character. Hello. <laughs> uh, who wants to help? Uh, Joshua. Yes. Ah, tatay yu pa. Joshua, we can to to the max. Yeah. So so that's encoding. Okay. The speaker should be able to uh to send the feeling of what he's talking about. Okay. <laughs> Okay. But <laughs> nice one, Joshua. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who wants to read number two? Oh, matatasa tayo. Okay. Anyway, uh, beaten tayo. Eh. Okay. Uh, we'll just continue this our discussion next week. Okay. So I'm gonna see you again next week. Uh, I hope to see you again. All the same hey, faces. All right. So, do you have any questions? Please read. Uh, please read our NMLZ and answer the uh, motivation. Uh, there are some who haven't answered the communication skills yet. Okay? Only eight have answered our uh, assessment skills. And we are 15. Marami pang hindi sumasagot. Uh, you have to answer it for you to be able to go to the introduction, the lesson we are talking about right now. So uh, I will not be giving you other assignments yet, just the assessment, and then uh, read our uh, introduction, the communication skills. Okay? Any more questions? All right. Nice seeing you guys. Have a great weekend ahead. Bye-bye. Goodbye.